The best case scenario is that you hire a coordinator, but if you cannot do that because of availability or because of budget, you can have a friend coordinate your wedding. But you, the couple, must do the groundwork beforehand to set your friend up for success. In this video, I'll share a five-step process to get your friend ready to successfully coordinate your wedding. First step in the process is to select the right friend and ask if they're willing to take on the job. Unfortunately, the coordinator friend cannot also be a guest at the wedding. If they are, they won't be able to be successful. So choose someone that would not expect to be invited to your wedding, but cares about you and would enjoy lending a hand. So maybe your best friend's sister or like your mom's friend from work or some other friend of a friend that would not be offended that you were asking them to do this and not be a guest at the wedding. But before you ask them, watch this video till the end so that you know exactly what you're asking them to do because you want to be very clear about the job. Try to really narrow your focus with this. A coordinator is different from a wedding decorator or a style consultant or a planner or any other type of vendor. Her job is not to cut the cake but make sure it gets cut. Not to set up the decorations but to know where they go. Not to hire the vendors but to know who they are, when they're supposed to be there, and what they're supposed to do. Asking a friend to do more than one of these roles is too much to ask but having them take on the role of a coordinator only can work. Step two is to stay organized as you plan. Keep an electronic or hard copy file with all the details for every vendor, contracts, pictures of the cake, floor plans, style ideas, any specifics about time frames, setup, delivery, all of that stuff, organize it well for yourself. Then about a month before the wedding, sort through all of that and pull just the most important contracts and details. So anything that is out of date, get rid of that. Use tabs to organize by vendor type and be ready to hand that off to your coordinator friend. Step three is to create a robust and accurate timeline with specific duties for the coordinator. Include everything that vendors are doing so she can keep track of the flow of the day and help get things back on track if they get behind. Also include a list of all of the vendors and the contact person with a phone number for that day. So make sure you have the day of contact phone number. Many companies are gonna give you a business hours phone number, but that's not gonna work if something goes wrong on a Saturday or whenever the wedding is. We offer a timeline creation service for clients that are not using our coordination or planning services. We provide a detailed form with all of the questions needed to create a thorough timeline and vendor list. From there, we'll create the timeline for you in Google Sheets format that you can edit yourself as needed. Check out our video on that service here. Remember, consult with each vendor to make sure load-in, delivery, and all the special moments work for their needs. Don't wait till the wedding day to find out that your timeline doesn't work for one of the vendors. For tips on creating your own timeline, check out this video. Remember to take the time to introduce your coordinator to your vendor team over email and let them know that she'll be the contact on the wedding day. Give them her cell phone number for sure. Step four is to schedule a final walkthrough at the venue and make sure your coordinator friend can attend. There you'll give her a copy of the detailed layouts and review any setup plans. But remember, she is your coordinator, not your decorator. If you need someone to set up decorations, ask a different person so that the coordinator can focus on her job. This meeting should happen in the week or two before the wedding. After you review how everything should be set up, also discuss the flow of the event. Show her how you wanna walk down the aisle, where you wanna take your pictures, where you wanna do your first stance. Show her where all the special events should happen. Then once you have finished reviewing layout and flow, take some time to review the timeline in detail and share exactly what you need for your coordinator friend to do. Step five is to prepare your friend for the rehearsal. If you are having your ceremony at a church, you may be able to have the church handle this. Some venues will assist with it too, but usually it's up to the couple to have an officiant or a coordinator run the rehearsal. It really comes down to choosing the right person, giving them the right information, creating a robust and accurate timeline, communicating your wishes in person, and making sure you have a solid plan for the rehearsal. If you can get those five things together, it is possible to have a successful experience with a non-professional wedding coordinator. Thank you for watching our show and happy wedding planning.